Welcome to Our Heritage. We are so happy today to have a special guest that's going to give us some more light on Miss Ada Slater. Luke Morgan, how are you today? I tell everybody I talk to, she's one of my favorite people in Coffee County history because she had to be one strong woman to go through life like she had. Tell me a couple of stories that the family tells. I know she played bridge. I know she was a, a chain smoker. Big Presbyterian. Like oh, yes. Presbyterian church. Uh, uh, she was very involved with that. I, you know, I know she would, every summer she'd go up to the High Hampton Inn and lease her house to the back, out to the back of buyers. Mm -hmm. so, um, she, uh, you know, early on, she, you know, after her husband died, mm -hmm. she, I'm sure she's probably the way out there woman in town, and she helped a lot of people in business. And, my grandfather had moved here from Plains in the, around 1920, and um, uh, one of her nephews, six dubs, he, he, they put them together and got started the Ford dealership mm -hmm. here. And I think they were on Peterson, and eventually were right here next door North where too. Unique Interiors was. That um, um, I believe she built that building for them for the Ford dealership. And my grandfather eventually bought him out of it. But mm -hmm. uh, you know, I know she. Um, you know, Mr. Ashley was involved with the Union Bank. Um, she was, uh, he, he's involved in the railroads, and you know she had her hands on a lot. A lot of pots. I think they'll do Coffee Hotel. Um, you know she owned that, and um, so she. You know, I know my step grandfather Francis Stubbs. She helped him with, you know, become the businessman he was. Mm -hmm. and, um, so she, you know, of course, she, you know, numerous stories about her nieces and nephews. How she, well, I've heard how everybody got education. She was real big on supporting her sister's children. So I, she, she's just amazing to me. And we have in our files some stacks of menus from the Dukoff. It says, for your approval. And I guess it's at some point in time, she at one time would approve any menus that the Dukoff had. I just thought that was amazing. And I, you know, I, I've heard my mother talk about she'd go to New York, to, you know, every year to buy her clothes. And, you know, I think she went to Europe, you know, travel you know, right. extensively, you know. And, um, you know, read a, led a very interesting life, even though she had a lot of sadness in her life, too, you know, right. at the same time. You know. Well, we have some pictures back there that show her as a, as a character. She's funny, laughing, making faces, and all this stuff. So, but you remember her later in life. Well, I, you know, I can just remember going by and seeing her at the house. Right. She was in kind of bedridden then. Right. I, mean, I remember the house just being dark and gloomy. And, but uh, she, she, you know, she was, had a very commanding <laughs> she, you, know, you could tell she was a tough cookie. I mean, you know, people didn't push her around too much. You know? See, that's what I like, strong women. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, um, but she, uh, I'm trying to think of some other things I might know about her, but, you know, but I, I know she just, you know, uh, like I said, looked after so many people, her family. You know. She was very f fond of a, uh, Particularly her great niece, who was named after her, her name was Ada Alice. After mm -hmm. um, her grandmother Alice was one of uh, Miss Slater's sisters, but uh, she was very fond of her husband. And ended up uh, start club car in Augusta. She's actually ah. still alive today. She's up in her 90s, but um, I, you know, I think in the will she left mm -hmm. her some, you know, several pieces of her jewelry and things. And, uh, I think Joanne actually talked to her. Right. Know, yeah. Got, you did an interview with her. her right, mm -hmm. you know. And uh, Catherine Tanner, who was a uh, one of her nieces, I, you know, I got to know her later in life, and you know, she shared shared a lot of stories mm -hmm. with me. And her mother, you know, there was two other there were several right. children. You know, right. Miss um, Ada, I mean, not Miss Ada, Miss Alice. No, not that's not Pearl and uh, what's the other one's name? Lived down the street. And, and uh, we're uh, Mary Lou Gillespie. Mary Lou Gillespie's house, sisters, right? There. You know, I know she kind of, you know, looked after them. She's a, you know, she came from Alamo. Right, Wheeler right. County. Right. And, um, um, her mother was a McRae, uh, which is the Jane Wade's right. family. That, right. They're all out of the same, you know, family out of you know, Telfair and um, Wheeler County, all the McRae's over there. And uh, one of her sisters um, married my great great uncle, and I, he'd come to Douglas in about 1895 and graduated from law school at Georgia. And uh, where he actually met her, uh, her name was Matt, Matt, yeah. Matt. and um, I've got a little article where they all, my, my great-grandmother, her sister, and all took the train 
up to Alamo for the wedding. Oh, you know, nice. But they built that house there on Gaskin, you know, in 1898. Mm -hmm. and, um, uh, but I, I presume she came down here visiting her is how she met Mr. Ashley. Well, that's, that's what the story is. She came to visit her sisters and, and met Mr. Ashley, right. mm -hmm. which is good. When you, the group of mint gentlemen bought the house, was there any original furniture left? There was a, uh, her big, real, real nice writing desk, mm -hmm. which uh, is in the little study downstairs. Her sofa was there. Um, there were several other uh, pieces that um, um, we were able to acquire from, right. from Betty Mullis. Oh, okay. The sofa, I know the sofa in the living room, there's a couple of side chairs. Uh, you know, the de that desk, uh, uh, there's a big tall cane chair that's in the foyer that mm -hmm. was hers. So we did get, you know, well, that's we good. require a few of her pieces. You know, I know it's easy to get period pieces, but it's nice to have something that was hers. Right, right. Mm -hmm. You have anything else you'd like to share with us today? Well, anything else you want to know about her? <laughs> I, I'll try to think of anything else. One of the stories that I heard was that she loved to play bridge and she loved the college faculty staff. I guess because they were more worldly traveled or erudite, whatever. But Horace Laird and um, Shirley Fails. Fails, they played bridge right. constantly. Yeah, I think Horace actually lived over there with her for a while. I think he roomed there one time. Yeah, yeah, and, um, yeah they, you know, uh, if anybody knew Shirley, you know, she was just an avid, avid reader and right. a bridge player too, you know. And I know she was very close to her. I just wish we had more Miss Adas today. Right, I like Miss Adas. Thank you for okay, coming, Luke. I appreciate it. Thank you. We'll be right back. Welcome back. I want to catch you up on some things for the summer and the upcoming fall and just what is here. Some people say, well, I've never been in the museum. Well, it's only been here mm, almost 20 years. You need to come by and visit with us. We are staffed strictly by volunteers. If a volunteer can't come or somebody's sick or whatever, we put a sign on the door so you know. We don't close just because we want to. We close because nobody is able to be here and keep it open. So this is my first question. Do you have three hours a month to give to the Historical Society and Heritage Station Museum? Bring you a book, a magazine, a puzzle, meet and greet. It's real simple. But as we're staffed by volunteers, everything that we do in the museum is also done by volunteers. We've had several displays that we've been working on for quite some time, but remember it's volunteers. So we, it takes a long time for us to get it together when we're working piecemeal, so to speak. We have several areas we have completed. We have a South Georgia College uh, exhibit that is now up. So proud of that one. Uh, the college and Jim Cottingham worked very well with us to get that done. We are still trying to get up our other room. It used to be the tea room, but now we're going to use it for display. And as we get along uh, things done, we are getting uh, focusing on high schools in Coffee County in that room with other things. We recently received a gift from Mallory Smith of ice cream tasting chairs that he brought with his family, came from Tennessee, to work at our Creamery in Douglas, and they are gorgeous. Come by and see those. We are still working on heritage churches. 
we need you people to let us know if your church was founded before 1925. It doesn't have to be the same building. We'd love it if it was, but we want to know all the heritage churches in Coffee County. Anything formed before 1925. If you met in a brush arbor, that's fine with us. Just let us know. We need the history and the date and all that kind of stuff so we can archive these before they're all gone or forgotten. We're also uh, working on our American African American achievement, achievement leaders, and we have done this where. We are focusing on people that have given back in a positive manner to the community over a lifetime or 20 years. Uh, you know, if you give 20 years of service in some field, that is a lot. And if, if you are the, one of those people or you know one, please let us know. We have a volunteer that's trying to get that information. But you know, some people just don't want to share things with you. Also, we recently received from Lane's Studios uh, pictures from the 60s, and we're trying to get these all identified. Uh, we would like to have a big showing from them because I'm going to tell you something. Some of you folks have aged just a little bit. I have wedding pictures, class pictures, homecoming pictures, uh, the little packages of pictures that every little school child got when they were in school. We're trying to get all of these identified as much as possible because to me one of the saddest things is to have a picture and nobody knows who it was, where it was, or whatever. Our big upcoming exhibit, we have a mini exhibits coming up uh, on uh, June, I think the 16th, the 17th, that's Saturday anyway, is our Georgia Tech Jackets. These are people that went to Georgia Tech from Coffee County. So if you have any memorabilia or pictures of people that you'd like to add, please let us know. We'd be glad to include them in this mini exhibit. In September, we're starting the history of Coffee County, education-wise. School teachers, school buildings. We have a t picture of Nichols, Ambrose, the uh, Coffee High from 1954. We're looking for things before 1970. We're not doing the newer buildings. If you have a picture of the old Satilla School, West Green School, um, any of those old high schools, uh, I'm probably forgetting somebody, Broxton. Somebody should have a picture of Broxton because they just took it down not long ago. We would really love to have a copy of that, as well as school memorabilia. If there's a favorite educator or one you'd like to suggest we include in this exhibit, someone who gave their life to this community, please let us know. We um, are few in number, so we can't do hundreds of hours of research to gather this information. So we need the community's help. So we would appreciate it if you'd help us out there. Another thing we're trying to do is we're, we're trying to get more field trips. Uh, we have had the same two schools every year. They come. Westside and Satilla are always faithful. If you will call 381-1135, um, if you're a teacher and you want to use us next year, be glad to. We have a lot of activities that we plan. We'll go to the classroom. We'll do it here. Uh, we do scavenger hunts. We even do a Coffee County quiz, and we grade it. The teachers don't have to grade it. But kids need to know the local history. So many of them do not. So that is one thing we're really focused on. I would urge the community to come by and see the museum. It's only a dollar. It won't break you. We'll take quarters, nickels, dimes, and pennies. Um, give us some feedback of what you'd like to see, what you'd like to see changed. Uh, we try very hard to update and do, but it's very hard with volunteers. And if you'd like to volunteer for a special project, let us know. We'll be glad to have you. We hope to continue our heritage. We feel it's a great outreach so people at home can see what's important in Coffee County and all the things that we need to know about ourselves. The museum also hosts business meetings and showers and birthday parties, all that. We will do that for you also. We have a super gift shop. Everything in there is made by or in Coffee Countyans. 
we have art, we have honey and syrups and all those things. We recently added new postcards. We're getting more and more books by people that are local artists that are from Douglas and Coffee County. And um, we urge you to come by and see what we've got. We would love for you to visit with us. I hope to see you in July. Until then, have a great summer.